I might as well be picking up cat shit and trying to light my fucking candle with it because it's useless. Well, hello beautiful people, welcome back. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day today and I really hope that other people out there are as excited for this video as I am because today we are getting into some of my favorite Amazon purchases and I asked you guys about this over on Instagram like a month, month and a half ago if you'd wanna see it and it was an overwhelming yes. You guys were really down for the idea and truthfully, I, I love this for so many reasons, okay? Number one, I, like so many of us, am guilty of going down that little Amazon rabbit hole, especially during quarantine where it's just like, oh, <laughs> What are you doing at 3 a.m. when you've lost all track of time and space and, and everything that's going on in life? Well, you sit there and you peruse on Amazon and you find the most random shit that all of the sudden changes your life. Like you find yourself asking like, how have I ever lived without this? And for me, that is some of these purchases and I'm so excited to share them with you. So if that sounds like something that you're into, give me just a second and we'll get into the video. But before we do that, I want to take just a brief second and I have a couple of things I wanna mention, a couple notes to make, if you will. Number one, if you are new here, you've never seen me, you're new to the channel. Welcome. My name is Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria and you should definitely subscribe, turn on your post notifications before you leave because I do put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. They normally go up around 7, 7.30 a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan. And then number two and arguably per usual, okay, if you've been here and you've heard this spiel a few times, number two is arguably the most important because I need you guys to go follow me on Instagram, okay? It is so important because I'm trying to get to 10,000 followers because at 10,000 followers you get the swipe up feature, okay? And I really, really want that that it would make my life so much easier for linking videos and products and just and everything in my day-to-day -day life on Instagram would be way easier. So if you don't mind, if you have an Instagram, if you don't have one, if you want to make one, whatever, please feel free to go down and check me out again, Instagram and on Twitter. They will both be linked down below, but Instagram is the most important. And then bullet point number three, if you are looking at this face and you would like to, you know, learn more about it, if you haven't seen the video, I actually just got done filming, um, testing Jessica Braun's favorite makeup, which I will link up here. And that video is actually actually super fun. I tested a lot of different types of makeup to what I would normally wear and it was just super cool to get to sit down and do those. I, that's one of my favorite videos to film and that video is actually part of a series as I mentioned in it. So again, if you watch it, you like it, there's more content where that came from that's even along those lines. So definitely check that out. Anyways, with all of that said, done and out of the way, let's go ahead and get into my Amazon favorites. Now for this video, I think I picked like 10 or 11 products because I didn't want it to be obviously like too long, but uh, you guys can definitely let me know at the end if you would like to see more because let me tell you okay there's there's definitely a lot more where this came from but my first product is actually one that I, I never I never knew that I was missing it but now that I have it and I use it every single day I always look at it and go my god it's just it's so brilliant and that would be none other than my iWatch holder now you guys know again at least in all of my recent videos I do wear an iWatch I wear this all day every day and this right here is a holder that also you can feed through the back of it as a charging dock and it is just so brilliant okay not only is it adorable it's super cute very functional but I also really like that this is a super duper sturdy stand and you know what kills me the most about this is that I actually did have um, another stand several several years ago like at least three or four and it was like a little foamy like really light airy stand the thing I hated about that is that it was constantly flipping off the shelf like you had to literally tape it to the damn counter okay to get it to stay down and and it never occurred to me, like I literally threw that thing away. I was like, mother, like fuck, I, I cannot stand this. And for some reason, and this is the part that mind boggles me, it never occurred to me, okay, to go looking for another stand until I want to say what, maybe six, eight-ish months ago. And I was just perusing on Amazon and this popped up and I was like, oh my God, it looks good. It's sturdy. And it has these little like rubber grippers on the bottom. So it doesn't just like skid away. Like, you know, just like the other one, that light, airy, foamy piece of shit. And for me, this is just one of those items that is so simple simple and it's such like a derp type item and to now have it in my possession I keep it in the same place I keep it all plugged in and nice and it's just I like knowing that my my little Apple watch the thing that I spent a ridiculous amount of money on I love knowing that I just get to tuck it in at night I just get to set it down there it literally magnetizes to the base because the um, for those of you that don't have an Apple watch the uh, the charging port on the back of it is a magnet so it literally sticks the phone like or it sticks the watch right to it and it just stays there and I don't have to worry about it it doesn't 
doesn't fall off. It's safe. It's happy. It's secure. And I think this is like $8.99, right? I actually pulled it up. Yeah, this retails for $8.99. And let me just tell you, for $8.99, it's freaking brilliant, by the way. Freaking brilliant. I love it so much. And then actually, thing number one leads to thing number two, because I have had so, so many questions from you guys about my iWatch band. This is it right here. It has like a cute little, um, like metal linkage detail. It's absolutely adorable. And this is also, of course, something that I got from Amazon. And I just pulled it up on my phone here. It looks like it retails for $21.99. And there's a little coupon you can clip to save an extra 6%, which is super random. But of course, you know, my ass would be clicking it. For me with this band, the reason that I chose it is because of the look. It's because of the aesthetic that you get. Because the one thing I couldn't stand about my watch, and ultimately the reason that I didn't wear it for a very long time, was because I hated, and I mean I hated, the ugly wrist strap that it comes with. It's like this weird, like, silicone material. And it's not that it's bad. Like, if you're into sports and you want something that's not going to tarnish, you want it to be, like, easy to wipe off and all of that, it is great. But for someone like me, I wanted a, a strap option that would go in between, um, like, day-to-day -day life or you could fancy it up. Like, you, you know, you could use it in both applications. And no matter what, it would never look out of place. And with the strap that it came with, it just always looked very just bleh. like it never looked nice like at least not nice enough to what I wanted and that's what I loved about this is that you know in the end I was able to get something that could be both worlds you know it could be day to day but that it could also look a little bit nicer and it wouldn't fight my jewelry but there is one downside to this and it doesn't bother me so much because no one but me notices or can see it but it's still something I want to point out and that's just that if you pick this up I've had this for I want to say a few months at this point probably three or four and I've noticed a lot of wearing on the back buckle, which I'll try to take a picture and put it on the screen so you guys can see it. Um, and it's just the the actual, like the color, the paint or whatever is wearing off on the back right here. Get me wrong, I probably beat up my wristband more than the average person and I totally get that because just in my industry, things don't last as long. I'm constantly scraping it on metal and, and my keyboard and just, just all the things because, you know, I, I own and operate a shop in real life. So mine is gonna get a little bit more wear and tear, but just something, you know, if you do pick this up, don't be surprised if you see a little bit of um, removal right here. Like I said, it doesn't bother me as much because A, no one can see it, and B, it doesn't mess with the functionality of the watch band itself. Because uh, overall, it's just a very sturdy, nice, heavy, weighted, like actual metal wristband. And I really like that. It works well for me, but I just wanted to let you guys know, you know, just in case you pick it up, that could happen. All right, now moving on to item three. This is one of those ones for me that it is such a, like, well, duh, Paige, you should have one of those type items that I can't believe I never thought of it before, especially as someone who is constantly lighting candles, okay? Hello. <laughs> like, I love candles, and because of those, I'm constantly having to deal with lighters. And do you know what makes a lighter absolutely fucking useless? When it's out of butane, okay? If it's out of butane and it can't go picking, picking, and kick out a fucking flame, it's literally so dumb. <laughs> like, I might as well be picking up cat shit and trying to light my fucking candle with it because it's useless. As you can tell, I'm very passionate about this because it just happened to me not too long ago, and because I couldn't find the next product we're going to talk about. But for me to have to rely on the butane to be in the lighter, then to find the lighter, then to light the it's just too much, okay? Like, I can't, can't be bothered. And that is where this little guy comes in, okay? This is an arc lighter, and it relies on no butane. It doesn't even rely on batteries. It comes with a little charge cord, and you plug it in. And this is is so smart. And the way that this works, just for anybody that's never seen one, there's actually like a little on off switch right here. So you don't have to worry about just like, oh, clicking it on and you're going to light the house on fire. Um, you actually do have to turn the lighter on. There's just a little switch there. You can see that the blue lights up and that tells you how much of a charge it has. So, you know, if it doesn't work, you'll be like, oh, it's out of charge. But uh, once it lights up blue, you can see I've got a good charge going on. And then all you do is hit this little power button and it creates just the ever tiniest which I don't think you'll be able to see from that far away, but it just creates a little arc between these two points in here, and it goes bzzz, and that right there is what you use to light the candle or light, I mean, you can light whatever, okay, I'm not trying to, I'm not your mother, I'm not your real dad, I'm not gonna tell you what to do, okay? But it's that is what creates the fire, and it's just brilliant. Take the other day, for example, my, it was my friend's birthday, and I was trying to light the candles on her cake, and as I'm sitting there, I'm, I'm trying to light these candles, and I'm sitting here like, what the hell, huh? Like, I'm half catching myself on fire because the flame is catching me in the nail, and I'm trying to do it, trying not to drip wax everywhere and I just kept thinking like 
wouldn't life be simpler, okay, if I had my damn arc lighter? Because with this, there is no flame. It doesn't travel up. It doesn't try to nail you and burn you on the sides of your thumbs. You just go pekink, pekink, pekink. And it's, I mean, it produces the arc, which makes the flame. It lights the damn candle and you're done. Like, it's so simple. And it's just, it's something that you need. And you don't have to take my word for it, okay? But like, next time you burn yourself with a little Bic lighter or anything else, or, or you run out of butane and you're like, oh, I wish I would have listened to Paige. That's right, you should have listened to Paige because this, this is good. This is so good. It's so smart and it's, I just love it so much. Now, on to the next item that I just think is so freaking adorable. Like we're talking next level cute here. Look at this marble green cup. It has this adorable little gold accent. And oh my God, like, is this not, is this not so cute? Um, obviously got it on Amazon. They retail for $11.99, so they are a little bit pricier, but they come in seven different versions or seven different colors. I, of course, went with the green one because I love this marble. I think it's so cute. What I like about these and the reason I've chose to include them in this video, because like I said, I think $11.99 is a little bit pricey, but I like that with these, you're actually getting a really nice quality cup, which sounds really weird when you say it out loud, but I've, I've priced and looked Looked at stuff similar to this. You know, I found them at Hobby Lobby and stuff like that, anywhere from like five to eight, nine dollars, somewhere in that range. But they always looked cheap or they felt cheap. They weren't weighted. Like they just, they didn't have that it quality. And with these, what I like is that, A, I feel like they're such a good size. Like if you are someone, not so much for me because my makeup collection is obnoxious, but if you are someone that, you know, you're just looking for like those cute little cups, a nice little vanity display piece, these are so cute. They're very, like I said, aesthetically pleasing. Um, but I like that they just have that quality look to them. Now, obviously, if you're someone like me and you're gonna use them for brush storage, you have a ton of brushes, this size might not be the most practical just because, I mean, just myself, like right here, I have five of them because I love, I just love the way they look so much I didn't care. If you're just a normal makeup person with a normal amount of brushes, I think this is just the cutest little accent, again, to your vanity, to your look, your room, whatever. And there's seven different options, so you definitely have some room there to choose. I'm like, maybe it's just me, I don't know, but I could see this at Pier One for like 20 $7. And I'm just like, I'm here for it. I think it's so nice. And it's just adorable. So I wanted to mention it. So cute. All right. Now the next item, I think I actually got this recommendation from Jaclyn Hill. I want to say, I think she did a video not too long ago and she mentioned these scrunchies. It's a three pack. And you guys, these are so nice. They're a satin silk um, hair scrunchie. And like I said, you get a three pack of them. There's this bright blue, this bright blue, this like deep, um, like magenta kind of purple. And then this mustard yellow, which I have in my hair right now. And these these are so freaking nice, you guys. I love them, okay? The texture is so nice. They're so soft. I actually didn't think these were too expensive. They're $13.55, and like I said, you get three of them, and they are a satin silk blend, so they are like a nicer quality. They're super soft. My understanding, the idea is that the harsher, like a cotton fiber or something like that, up against your hair, they sit there and they kind of wear against each other, and it's just not good for your hair to have that constant like eh, 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 up against it, when instead you could go in with something like this, which is a lot silky and essentially goes up against your hair and it still lets your hair kind of move and it doesn't, it just doesn't serrate it. It doesn't grind away at it like the, like a tougher fiber does. And I don't know if this matters to anybody else, but I've kept, <laughs> I've kept it in the box, which is really weird for how much I've worn these. But uh, if you wanted to get this and give it as a gift or something, I really like that uh, it actually comes in this cute little box. It comes wrapped up almost like when you, uh, if you were to buy a tie for someone, how it comes in that really nice packaging with that really cute presentation. And I don't know, I just, I really like it. I felt like I was getting something like a little present for myself, like a little something special, a little bougie. It was really just $13 scrunchies and I'm okay with that because that's the best gift I could ever buy myself. Very practical and I love them. Good quality and I wanted to mention it. All right, so my next three items are actually more kitchen-y type items and I'm throwing them in here because I just like truthfully, I think they're too brilliant not to be in this video. Um, so first up, we're going to talk about this and this is a freaking organizer for your kitchen drawer um, for your silverware and guys, I just think that this is so brilliant. Obviously, I was too lazy to take the silverware out because your girl's got, I got shit to do, okay? I got time to be taking out all these damn silverware. Look at this shit. That's a lot of work. But I wanted to still show you guys this and I actually took a video as well in the drawer. So what I'm going to do is not only talk about this, but I'm going to show it to you um, up against like what a normal uh, silverware organizer is in a drawer, just so you can really see like the difference in space and how much room this doesn't take up. Because like truthfully, if you're someone in an apartment, you don't have a lot of space, maybe you just don't have a lot of kitchen space 
space in general. This is so freaking smart because instead of being a traditional organizer where it takes it and it, it uses more room this way, like more room, you know, horizontally on like a, the surface, it takes that same concept and builds it up. So instead of being super thin and bigger, it's actually thicker and taller, but it still fits within the drawer, which at first I was like, there ain't no damn way that's going to fit in there, but it does and it's brilliant. But what I really appreciated about this was like the design and the thoughtfulness of it because they actually, if you're like me, okay, and you're looking at this and you're like, oh, there's no way, like I can't fit, you know, enough forks. I can't fit enough spoons in there. It's just, it's not going to fit. I am telling you, okay, when we got this, I jam packed this thing. Like I wanted to see what it would hold and I could easily, okay, easily fit probably 12 to 15 forks in here. And same with the spoons. And right now the knives itself probably has 12 to 15 fucking knives in there. Like you can fit a lot in these and it's because, and I can't really show you, but if you were to look down in these little holes, like where you put them, it's actually carved out with enough space to make sure that you can stack them on top of each other and that all of the tines have enough room to like nest inside of each other. So they're not just like down there all crisscrossed and all, you know, messed up. It actually does layer really nicely and you don't have to like screw around with it. It's, it's just very easy. Everything slides in together. All right. So next up we have this weird ass <laughs> little five in one multitasking tool. And this is one of those kitchen items that I just think is so brilliant because it really does have everything built into it depending on what you're working on. Um, for example, it has this little colander right here. They call it a colander. I would just say more so like a slotted spoon option. It does have a serrated edge right here. It has a regular um, like spatula edge right here for like the, the kind where if you want to, you know, flip a cookie off a baking sheet, that kind of thing. It's great for that. And then if you flip it over, it actually has a little spoon and then a um, rubber spatula on this end as well. And I think that this retails on Amazon for like $13.98. So it's just a freckle under $14. And for the price, I feel like you really do get a lot of functionality um, just out of this, you know, as a utensil because you can constantly reach for it for multiple things versus, you know, like, hey, if I'm grabbing a spatula, it's only, it's only going to be a spatula. Like it's not going to transform into a slotted spoon. You know, I would have to grab a different item for that. And it's just, I, I feel like the practicality for this is definitely up there in terms of, you know, how much you pay for the use that you can get out of it, which is cool. For my mom using it, she actually mentioned that uh, the part she liked the most was this end right here where it was a regular spatula down into the serrated because she said when she was making, I want to say she was making gravy and it gets like all the little crackly, the crunkly goodness at the bottom of the pan. And you do want to scrape that off. Like you want to get that flavor, but you don't want it to be too harsh on your pan. She said that this was really nice because it had like this built in, you know, situation right here, but because of the material itself, it's not hard on her dishes. She doesn't have to worry about it. Like scraping up a layer of Teflon, you know, that whole thing. And she said it was just super practical in terms of like the stirring and the scraping. And it worked really well to have all of that kind of in one. And I think the other thing that really appealed to me with this, just like with the last product and with the next product actually, um, which is also kitchen based kind of. Um, but I just, I like the fact with this that it kind of eliminates other things that you need or if you're trying to save space, it's a really good option for that as well. So just, you know, something, something to consider if you're trying to save that space, honey, if you're trying to save that space, listen to Paige because she's got this and she's got one more. Speaking of the next item, let's go ahead and have a little conversation about how you store your water bottles because I think personally, okay, this is one of those items that it just makes so much freaking sense up in your cupboards, which again, I did take a video of this and I'll, I'll put it on the screen so you guys can see it. Um, you get two of them into a pack, which I just think is perfect because, you know, one stacks on the other and they work perfectly, you guys. They fit amazingly in the cupboard. Um, I actually didn't think that they were going to fit because we have like these weird ass shaped cupboards, but all of the sizes they spec on the website are fantastic. And just double checking the price, you get two of these. So again, one stacks on top of the other. Um, the pack of two is $25.99, so $26. And for what you get, like for the, the sturdiness of it and how nice it is, how perfectly it fits in the cupboard, I truthfully, like I think it's worth it hands down. Now, obviously, as you guys saw in our cupboard, we have three of them stacked on top, which is why we have an odd man out. But uh, I'm actually thinking about getting another set of two so that way we could have both of them, like both sides of the uh, of the cupboard full and it would just be all water bottles. I think what I love most about this is twofold. Number one, I love that when I open up the cupboard, I can see all of the bottles sitting there. They all look really nice. They're uniform, they're organized, which is great. But thing number two that I love probably the most is that when you are dealing like certain water bottles, okay, like for example, a Yeti, how they kind of come up at the base and they get fatter as they go up. Those ones, when you start packing 
stacking them into a cupboard, as you start trying to reach around in there, they start all falling, you know, all over themselves and then they fall out of the cupboard because they're top heavy because the base is so small, the top is so big, you know, you guys do the math, okay? Physics doesn't lie. And they just fall out the damn cupboard and it drives me crazy. And I love that with this, it fits a various amount of sizes and it just, I don't know, it helps keep everything nice, it's uniformed and you don't have to worry about anything falling out because they just stay together, they stay where you want them. And I just, I don't know, I really like this. I, I just think it's brilliant. It's one of those things that, again, for organization up in the cupboard, if you like to have those reusable bottles, it's fantastic. Okay, so my next item that I have here is $39.99, but uh, according to Amazon, if you click the coupon, you can save 15% off, which is great. But uh, even if it is $39.99, $40, I don't care. I think that out of all the items I've talked about thus far, this one is probably my favorite. Like w the item that I just, it has made such a difference to me in terms of doing my nails. You guys know I'm constantly painting them. I love nail polish. I love everything to do with keeping these little guys looking cute, which uh, by the way, I think this color is serendipity from Lights Lacquer, if in, if in you're curious. Um, that's a lot of what I wear, which we'll talk about here in a second. Anyways, this little UV LED light Oh my word, you guys, it's one of those little individual curing stations and it is fantastic. I use this every single week because I do my nails typically once a week, like on the weekends, and I love this, okay? So let me just, I didn't bring the cord, I left that because this is always plugged in by my chair, but uh, I wanted to still show you guys the base. So what this is, um, again, it plugs in right here. This is the port and it has four different setting options on it. You can do 10 second, 30 second, 60 second, or 90 second, which says that is low heat mode, but it has double power. So, you know, you can kind of adjust based on your nails or, or what you're going for. What I love about this is how efficient it is at making my nails like dried in between coats. And if you are someone that you do your nails, maybe you don't know this, it is so imperative. If you want to have a long lasting, just regular nail polish manicure, it is imperative that you let it dry as much as humanly possible, preferably all the way down in between your coats, because that way they're drying and really sticking to each other. And it's really kind compounding one onto the next versus putting a wet layer on top of a wet layer, which is just, you know, goopy mess at that point. And it's a lot harder to get it to really dry and cure and stick to your nails. What I found is that since using this, my manicures, like my, my regular nail polish, again, I'm not talking gels, okay? I'm not talking anything fancy. I'm talking regular ass nail polish, okay? I have found that while I've been using this, it lasts longer on my nails without chipping because again, I'm getting like that really good, that stick down and cure in between coats. And most importantly, because I'm one of those people People. I like to do my nails, you know, typically at night. Um, I'll do my nails. I'll let them dry as long as possible. And, you know, half the time I'll fall asleep like vampire style <laughs> with my hands on my chest. But no matter what, I always wake up. And of course, they're, you know, under my head and under my legs, behind my knees, you know, like a pretzel, I wake up. And my nail polish would always be wrecked. It would have those little bumps, the ripples, all the shit in them. And since I've been using this, again, because I'm getting that good dry in between each layer, I'm not having that problem because when I go to bed, my nails are almost always completely dry. And just having this has been such a lifeline for me. All right, so up until this point, <laughs> that nail dryer hand thing, that was the most expensive. But now I have something that is $44.99, which is basically $45. And if you are a nail polish enthusiast, okay, <laughs> this is a holding rack for your nail polish. It hangs on the walls. And can you see how gigantic this thing is? Oh my God, it's my dream. It's my life, guys. I love this thing so much. Um, as you can tell right now, it's kind of empty because... I've been going through, my mom's actually been helping me go through and like organize all of my nail polishes because when I tell you, okay, I am a nail polish fiend, I'm not kidding. You know how sometimes with makeup, you'll be like, oh, you know, I, I want this really specific shimmer or this certain highlight or this certain finish um, or even even this certain formula, like th this is what I'm looking for for my makeup. Um, I'm, I'm the same way, but with nail polish. Like I can tell you what color, what vibrancy, what depth or, you know, any of those things, I can tell you what I'm looking for in terms of my polish. And so for me to be able to find it based on not only the color, but the brand is very important to me. I'm just, I, guys, I'm that type of person, man. Like I love nail polish. I just love having like that little pop of color. I love how cute it looks with rings, um, with outfits and just having that. It's like an extra added little accessory. And it just, I don't know, there's something about having my nails done. It always makes me feel good and put together and I love it. And I love even more now that I have a way that I can display it on a wall. Or if you want to like tuck it in behind something, pull it out and uh, just always have that little 
little option. It's there and I just freaking love this, guys. All right, so at this point, you guys should know by now, I love to be comfy, cozy, turn the AC on, make it nice and cold, and then wrap myself in 72 warm, fuzzy things. Like, that is my life's goal. And this blanket, you guys, I got it obviously on Amazon and it retails for $30.99, so basically $31. And I believe, wait, what shade is this? This is brown leopard and I have it in the queen size and it is gigantic. It is fuzzy. Um, it has obviously the leopard on one side and then just like this brown, beautiful plush looking color on the other side. And guys, <laughs> let me tell you, if you love blankets, you love being warm, fuzzy, cozy, and just all the things, this blanket is for you. Oh my God. It's so nice. You guys, I use this every single day. Look at this. Do you see this? <laughs> this is just like my natural state. If I'm sitting there watching TV, I'm like this barely awake because this blanket is so cozy. It's so warm. It's so delightful. And you just, you want to fall asleep. Like I could lay down, if I just laid my head back right now, bitch, I could go to sleep because I love to be comfy and I love the feeling of this. And again, it's just one of those items that I had to throw out there, whether you're in the market for like a big, squishy, soft, amazing blanket, or if you're someone that, because this does come, I believe in different sizes. I think there's like queen, king, twin, um, all of those. So if you're looking for it for your bed, if you're looking for it for the aesthetic in the living room type situation, um, either way, it's worth it it's definitely worth it. Okay, take a look. Tell me what you think. And if you end up picking it up, okay, bitch, I want to know <laughs> because I think this is so cozy. Oh, all right, you guys. So my next product is for the person. If you are like me, okay, I, I am this person. Um, if you like to get every single last bit of product that you can possibly get out of something because you're like, hey, bitch, I paid for it. I want it. It's mine. Then you will absolutely love the zero waste cap. Now, obviously these are available on Amazon. Otherwise they wouldn't be in this video, but they retail for $9.99, but they're not at least the one that I'm looking at does not have Amazon Prime. So it ships for $2.99. So something to consider. You could be looking at, you know, 10 to, what is that? Like 10 to $13, right in that range somewhere. But basically what this is, is a way for you to take whatever you're using. Like in this case, I was using this Hemp's Lotion, which by the way, I will also link this Hemp's Lotion down below because it is my absolute favorite. It is the Hemp's Pure Herbal Extracts All Day Triple Moisturizer. And it's the one, it's the blue one. You can kind of see there's a teeny bit left in there, but uh, this is my favorite moisturizer, hands down. I use it all the time. What you get in the package from Amazon are these three pieces, okay? You have the green and the blue, and what these pieces are are just the thread count to match up with the bottle, because when they created, you know, this set right here, they determined that most items that you're gonna use something like this on have one of two thread counts, which again is where these come from. You have the blue, which is bigger, which is what fits the hemp's bottle, or you have um, the green, which is a little bit smaller. But all you do then is take the bottle that you have, or the, the item that you're trying to get the most out of and you just determine, okay, well, does this cap fit? Does this thread count line up? No, it doesn't. It won't screw on. So obviously it's not that one. Is it this one? And then, you know, you give this one a little try and look, it screws right on. I know that the thread count matches. And then with this, again, this is the universal cap. So it just fits right over top and you click it down. And just like that, you have a nice little zero waste cap, something that, you know, you can flip upside down, allow gravity to do its job. And it will just bring all of the product down the sides of the container and right down to you. And that way you're not getting like any waste out of anything. And <laughs> hence the name zero waste. One of the reasons that I love these, um, this little cap system so much is because like in a bottle, if you've never seen this hemp's one, like this is a great example actually, because this actually comes with the pump, like it, it pumps the lotion out for you. And so what you end up having when it's all said and done is the stick that comes all the way down in here and you can't ever get everything out of the bottom. It's always up and down the sides and you end up with just way more waste of a product that you did spend your money on. And most most people, you know, you're not going to want to sit there. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. Okay. I do, but most people aren't going to sit there, take the thing off and, you know, hit it a thousand times until you're able to actually get, um, all the product down the sides and out and actually get it used up. And what I love, you know, not only do these caps get you all of your money out of whatever you purchased, but they also force you to just be a little bit more mindful in this world. There is just so much waste. And I just kind of figured that, um, to me, it's not always about like changing the world, you know, one huge action at a time. Sometimes it's all about, you know, changing little things in your lifestyle or little things here or there that eventually lead to bigger changes. And also I'm not going to lie and say that I haven't shown it to everybody in my real life because I just think it's one of those like little inventions that is just brilliant. All right, you guys, that is it. That's the end of the video. Um, thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it and that there was something here for everyone. I did try to, you know, kind of mix and mash a little bit, which by the way, if I haven't said this already, let me know down in the comments if this is a video that you would want to see more of, if you like Amazon favorites, because I definitely, definitely have more favorites 
that's where this came from. So yeah, let me know down in the comments. Um, also, while you're down there, don't forget to share with me your Amazon favorites. If there's something that you love, if there's something that, you know, like changed your life, changed the game, whatever, be sure to drop that down in the comments. That way I can check out your favorites as well, because I mean, truthfully, y'all got some of the best damn recommendations out there. So drop them in the comments. And then also along those same lines, if you guys decide to pick up any of this, obviously totally on you. Like I, I don't, I don't care what you, what you pick up or if you don't, but if you decide that you like any of it, whether it's from this video or any other video, makeup related or not, whatever, just feel free to tag me in your IG stories so I can see them. Um, and you know, so I can repost them and we can talk about it because I love seeing what you guys pick up and knowing what you guys think of it as well. Anyways, you guys, that is it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Because I think if memory doesn't fuck me up. Oh, fuck, fuck, don't fall, don't fall. I'm not picking up all those silverware. Thank you. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. So for today's video, we are getting in. <laughs>